Thank you, Mr Speaker. Despite the UK government's claims that it provides training to the Saudi-led coalition to avoid civilian casualties and prevent Saudi Arabia from breaching international humanitarian law, there is no sign that this has reduced the deadly toll of the air raids. How can this government justify not only profiting from the crisis in Yemen through arms sales, but also spending £2.4 million of taxpayers' money since 2016 via secretive funds to bolster the Saudi forces as well? Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, the, the UK is a proud of the role that we have taken in, try to up, in trying to uphold international humanitarian law and working with countries uh, uh, around the region to try and uh, uh, improve and support their institutions uh, and that is part of our ongoing agenda as being a force for good in the world and we are proud of that role.